two. Legacy is a short film about the history of filmmaking. We follow our character, Jake, as he grows from a PA in the 70s to a successful, ambitious, and fulfilled director in 2017. You know, there are so many different elements in this shot. Everything has to go just perfectly. But with the Ronin 2, it's basically a portable remote head where you can transition from one platform to another seamlessly. We wanted to put it to the ultimate test. I don't think I've ever been involved with anything so ambitious. Having a live set of that size really requires perfection from start to finish. Every person, every department, every tool, including the Ronin 2, had to be top of the line. We had to put a full camera package that also needed to be versatile, equipped with a two-channel focus and iris controller. So all together, you're at about 20 pounds or so, which is something that the Ronin 2 doesn't have a problem with. We used it in, you know, coming from a cable cam to a car rig, through windows, through doors, in different modes of operation. You're able to operate it by yourself manually while keeping full stabilization over the train you're going over at the time, or being able to let someone else operate the gimbal itself and then you could operate the controls of, of the camera. It also has a hot swappable battery system on it. The two batteries power for hours. This is an enormous undertaking. We have 85 crew members. We have 65 cast, 10 stuntmen, and uh, basically, there's a lot riding on it. Here we go, and action. And cut! Kid, what's your name? Jake. Keep up the good work. All right, everybody, back to one. Here, <laughs> now. Quiet on the set and action. Can I see playback, please? This is looking great, Jake. We good? We good? Are we good? Let's go! Let's go! Yeah. Right, let's go! Oh! oh. Shooting's definitely a test of patience. You're not gonna get it right the first time or the second time. And after lots of hiccups and coordination and timing and stunts, we got it done. We did not have any issues executing this complicated setup over and over and over again. The one thing about having a stronger platform, it opens up to use any lens you want to use. So I'm not feeling like I have to use, you know, compact primes or ultra light primes. We used a master prime for the project we were shooting. It was actually heavier than the camera itself, and it had no problem balancing it out, which is why I'm attracted to the system. I really want someone to walk away inspired to, like Jake in our short, see their potential legacy in becoming ambitious, fulfilled, and realized filmmakers.